with another reaction video and today we are reacting to oh uh, actually i wanted to do a, something a little bit different um i don't know if anybody's familiar on on this channel if y'all familiar with uh buzzfeed they got unsolved mysteries or whatever they got the like a little seasons like little episodes of like unsolved mysteries like supernatural stuff actual like cases that just haven't been solved yet i find those type of stuff interesting i have watched a couple episodes last night like i just was scrolling on youtube and i seen some like i discovered them probably like two days ago i haven't watched every episode so i i decided to do something different and just probably react and watch along one of the episodes it's only nine minutes long some of the episodes is like long like 30 minutes to 20 minutes but this one i haven't seen it's called the creepy real life men in black and it's nine minutes long and i guess it's probably a crime scene that hasn't been solved yet most of these stuff happened back in the day like i'm talking about 1940s type shit and whatnot i just wanted to try something different see you know I don't know. We have to sound different. I find this interesting. I don't know if anybody else will find it interesting. So let's get into the video, though. I'm Ryan. That's Brent. This week on BuzzFeed Unsolved, we're covering the real life Men in Black. Are they real? Yeah. Are they as charming as their Hollywood counterparts? You know, watching Men in Black, I never knew it was based on a true story. <laughs> <laughs> today, today we find out. <laughs> the Men in Black are typically described as wearing black suits, being expressionless, cold, sinister, and in some cases, inhuman. The men in black seem to only talk to two kinds of people. Those who claim to have seen a UFO and those who research UFOs. Oh, they present themselves as part of a secret organization, sometimes even producing a white card with a crest and the word security on it. And in some cases, they refer to each other by number rather than name. They threaten and scare people into remaining silent about their UFO encounters and or research. Think of them as the cleaners of the extraterrestrial universe. How much black do they actually wear? Do they look like the men in black that we see in the movies? We'll get into what they really look like later. Once they pull apart their skin, <laughs> then the alien okay. comes yeah. out. Yeah, you know, you I like the editing about, uh, behind these videos that they do. Like, these episodes is crazy. Like I like that little commentary how they have back and forth. And then, like, their little jokes they crack, so it don't seem so creepy. It just makes you feel, I don't know, it just makes you feel... Basics. Here are, in calm, my opinion, watching it, the most terrifying reports out. of encounters with the Men in Black. The first ever recorded experience with the Men in Black came from Harold Dahl in June 1947. Harold Dahl was out on his boat in the Puget Sound where he claimed he saw six giant donut-shaped objects in the sky. One of the objects fell apart, spilling debris that killed his dog and injured his son. He took photos of the debris but said they were later fogged over by a man in black who told him not to speak of the incident. They had donuts in 1947? How old are donuts? What? He said he saw donut-shaped mm. objects in the sky. That's what you were thinking of when I was telling you that story. <laughs> His fucking dog died. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The next incident comes from Robert this Richardson in 1967. Robert Richardson reported that he collided with a UFO while driving at night in Toledo, Ohio. On impact, the object vanished. Richardson like said he a... crashed into a UFO and then it... Wait, what? And then it disappeared? Yo, this shit's be creepy, dog. If I ever seen a UFO... I'm gonna ask them, like, if I ever see an alien, I'll probably ask them mad questions. Like, I'm like, take me. Take me with you. That he believed was from the I wanna, I wanna know what's up. Richardson said he was visited by two men in black suits. Oh, let me know about down below if y'all believe in UFOs. I believe in them. I believe in them. But when Richardson informed I know them aliens that he gotta be real, bro. Testing, they threatened him. Quote, if you want your wife to stay as pretty as she is, then you'd better get the metal back. End quote. <laughs> Richardson never heard from the men again and still has no idea how they knew about the metal. Why didn't he go to the police? Why didn't he search on the internet? What do I do? I after? think he may have gone to the police. There is no internet, by the way. It's in 1967. He probably just searched. However, people searched back then. I don't know. Mm. Fucking encyclopedia. <laughs> Jinx. The next thing happened like, in New they, Jersey in 1968. They humor just make it this light. Jack Robinson, light in the movie. a UFO researcher, and his wife Mary were terrorized by a man in black that would stand across the street from their apartment building. They reported their apartment appeared to be rummaged through, and after seeing the strange man for three days in a row, their friend Timothy Green Beckley decided to get a closer look and managed to snap a picture. This is a rare instance of a reported MIB caught on camera. <laughs> How do we know he's actually dressed in black if it's a black and white picture? It could be a dark navy. Wow. <laughs> okay. These next encounters I'm going to go over are a little more bizarre and offer much stranger implications. On September 11th, 1976, Dr. Herbert Hopkins, a doctor living in Maine, was studying a UFO Herbert? incident when he reported Your name he is a Herbert? call from a man who identified himself oh, as a representative of a New Jersey UFO organization. 
The men asked if Dr. Hopkins was alone and if they could review research. Dr. Hopkins agreed, and by the time he hung up the phone and turned on the lights outside, Dr. Hopkins claimed that the man was somehow already coming up the stairs to his door. Hopkins' description of the man is the most horrifying yet. The man wore a neatly tailored black suit, okay. was bald with no eyebrows or eyelashes, and had smooth, dead white plastic skin like a doll. His lips were ruby red, and his speech was expressionless and monotone as if you were hearing a machine. Question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's pale, really tight face. That's real skin, creepy, bro. But the thing they choose to make real is the ruby red lips. <laughs> they put all their technology into making those lips super realistic, but the that rest of crazy. them can't speak normal. If I ever seen one of them, like, normal, come to my house, horrible, like, like something like robot white. looking, I'm what? punching. <laughs> Decking it, dead in his face, like, yo. To take out a coin and said, I probably would kill me, though. After that, Hopkins claims, quote, It started to develop a silver color instead of copper, and then the silver became bluish, and the penny was getting quite fuzzy, out of focus, blurred, and then it simply was gone. It slowly dematerialized, end quote. After that, Hopkins hmm. said the man ordered him to destroy his UFO research. <laughs> Encounters like this, if they were real, they would not be this interesting. If in the off chance this actually happened, how shitty would that be? If you tell a story, no one's gonna believe you first off, and second off, you're gonna look like a crazy person. That's a fact. This next encounter is with someone you probably know. Dan Aykroyd. Yeah. In January 2002, Dan Aykroyd sold a TV show called Out There to the Sci-Fi Network that would break serious ground on a wide range of topics in the alien media landscape. In the middle of conducting further interviews for the show, Dan stepped outside for a break where he reported seeing a black Ford sedan appear suddenly across the street. Dan reports that one large man in black got out of the car and gave Dan a dirty look. Dan said he looked away for a brief second and when he turned back, the car was gone. Okay. Two hours after the car disappeared, Dan was given bad news from the producers of the show. Dan said, quote, We were told we were not to continue taping and the show was canceled and none of them would air. That's crazy. Why is it not the government? Why is it some weird alien organization coming after them? If that were to be true, that would mean that the government is in accordance with these aliens already. So the men in black could show up at Obama's desk and be like, hey, stop looking for aliens. <laughs> you <not> pesky human. <laughs> but I saved the They're best They're so corny, bro. Okay. On October 14, 2008, near Niagara Falls, hotel manager Shane Sovar, along with a hotel security guard, reported seeing a large triangular UFO outside his hotel. A group called the Aerial Phenomenon Investigations Team looked into the incident. They reported that a couple weeks later, according to three other witnesses, two unidentified men in black visited the look hotel. Look how they look, bro. The men in black terrified the hotel staff and were looking for Shane Sovar and the hotel security guard, who were luckily not there. I have seen X-Men. I forgot which X-Men was it. Where uh, Wolverine, he was fighting the... The guy that was bald and had no eyebrows with the one big long claw, and it was on top of like this little big. Uh... Oh my gosh! What is his name? I think I know. If y'all know what I'm talking about, that's who the um they look like. They look just like that guy. And when Shane Sovar reviewed the hotel security footage, he discovered that the camera had actually caught two men on tape. What okay. we're about to watch is that footage. Let me see. No one's that. gonna die, are they? No. Oh, damn. Sovar reported that the witnesses described the men as tall with black suits, black hats, identical faces, extremely pale skin, no eyebrows, no eyelashes, and abnormally large eyes. No. A woman who spoke with the men claimed that she felt that the men knew what she was thinking. Is this video proof that the MIB exist? Or is this video simply an Hey. Can I be 100% honest? Yeah. I'm really hey. trying here. They just look like business men. <laughs> so you just think there's two abnormally large. They were abnormally large. They, they might have oh, to go look, find they look some the same. Uh, the one so blurry. Okay, look UFO, at this, fucking, uh, this guy right here. The, the fucking guy standing some, next to the door. Some fragments okay. from look at him UFO, next to them. Unless the alien he's fragment, super tiny. And see if they pull up on the kid. <laughs> Is Kobe? Is your precious Kobe an alien? <laughs> no, he's oh, I mean, he might be, actually. Yeah, he might be. Unfortunately, most cases of UFO or alien encounters come in the form of first-person accounts, and the MIB are no different. Do they exist? Are they from the government? Are they even human? Ultimately, I wouldn't be surprised if they exist. There's a lot personally, of things out there. I believe, like, I believe that in. while they may not be aliens, even I can't believe that, I do believe that there may be a government agency out there that would regulate these sort of things to prevent mass hysteria. Mm -hmm. I can give you, I can, 
buy it. I can buy into the fact that the Men in Black may be a real thing. But I cannot give you the satisfaction that they are covering up aliens. There are certain things like ghosts or aliens or demons that well, don't. Well, no, I'd say if those I exist, if, I think then UFOs are. That I think aliens are part real. of the science, want, and there's an explanation behind down below those. This, this, is logical. this is where we'll always disagree because not everything can be explained by science or logic, in my opinion. I no, 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 no. I, no. So, mystery, do you want to see that? There's a lot of episodes, man. But that's the end of it. Hey, if y'all want me to keep reacting to these type of stuff, like, you know, more episodes or just different stuff like this, y'all should comment down below. But I would, tell me tell me what y'all think. Y'all think aliens is real? I think aliens is real. There's no way out of all of these galaxies in this world, you telling me, I mean, in this, like, you feel me? In the whole space and whatnot. Out of all them galaxies, you're going to tell us only this galaxy has life on it. And the only life we have is just Earth, this one planet. You telling me out of all these planets, is only Earth got living shit on there? Hell no, y'all bugging, man. I don't think so. But let me know. It's your boy Jay, and I'm out. Yo, like, comment, share. Y'all already know the deal. Y'all already know, man.